We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top, new level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey, I live on a job. Right. Yeah, I'm always at work. Right. Real people stay by me. Right. Haters wanna do hurt. Right. No, they tryna stop me. Right. Drag my name through dirt. Right. I don't feed into the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk. Flex. I feel we got more detail on that. That's right. All right, that all right, man. Mm -hmm. hey, you, you found that, yeah, brother? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Put it back. Where you at? How about you, brother? It's songs, it's songs of Solomon six seven. Songs of Solomon chapter six verse seven. Okay, let's go to it. How about you, brother? Do you know what we are preaching? Okay. Okay, because what we teach it is, okay, we teach it that the blacks and Hispanics are the Israelites, and we got to change. Right. And I know, I know uh, some of this is hard to take in and digest because you were oppressed and you just try to, where my next dollar coming from, where I'm going to eat at, where I'm going to lay my head at. But all of that comes from us not obeying God, therefore he keeps us in that lower state. Right. right. If we change, then those things, you can those down. If we change, then our condition begins to change. Bring it out. You know, because what God does, he ain't going to lead you out there by, by yourself. When you change, God begins to fight for you and put you around brothers that can help you. Right. Pull you up out of that lower state that you're in. First Kings 7, verse 8. We're going to 1 Kings 7 and 8 first, all right? Jay, take that water, brother. 1 Kings 7, 18. Oh, yes, thank you, thank you. All right, let's go. And the book of 1 Kings, chapter 7 and verse 18. And he made the pillars and two rows. What is a pillar? What's a pillar, brother? Something to hold up the pillar. Right, okay, let's read. And he made the pillars and two rows round about upon the one network to cover the chapters. And there were upon the top with pomegranate. And so did he for the other chapters. Okay. So you just pulled out the word pomegranate. That does not tell you to put it on your neck. Where does it say he put pomegranates on the shields? But it's also in uh, Psalms of Solomon as well. Psalms of Solomon 6 verse 7. That's going to tell you that, that God said, make thou a pomegranate chain and put it on that neck. Because go to, go to, you know my scripture, 1 Kings. Uh, humble yourself. No, oh, first Chronicles. Yeah, second Chronicles. Because all, none of us can deny this. Goodness gracious. Oh, drop the phone. Man. Hey, you want to see No, no, I know, I know. But what, what, what we try to get you to understand is yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. if you can't yeah. prove that precept upon precept, precept without your philosophy, I never I think it's out. I'll take it off. What are you waiting on? Take that thing off. Because what, what, what that does. Lying? The lying, the lying. And, and it's a lion. You read about that, right? What God, Christ is from the tribe, uh, is the lion of what? He's the lion of Judah. Right? The only thing is, is that you, you can't put faith in those things because those are just idols. I got Ask some questions. I want to hear you ask some questions. Uh, read that. 2 Chronicles 7 14. The book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it up. It's my people. But y'all called by my name, shall humble themselves. That's what we gotta do as a people. We gotta humble ourselves. When it comes out of here, then that's where you humble yourself. Because you can see it as, oh, those are nothing but just words. Right? That's what it was when I But God said, these are my words. If you humble yourself, read on. And pray. You what? And pray. And seek my face. And turn from their wicked way. We got to turn from our wicked way. And, and all of you brothers know your life better than I do. You know what you ain't doing is, is right according to God or not. Right. I had to examine myself. Was it lining up with what God said? Right. Because like the brother that just left, 
I used to be into the Egyptology thing, but I couldn't prove it in the Bible. I had to humble myself like this, this stuff ain't right. It sounds good, but I can't I can't prove it in the Bible. Right? What's your question, brother? So thank you. Uh-huh. Just like me. Thank you, you know, I'm going to be out here. If the aura of God was playing around, yo, I would be here. All praises. I know you ain't from here. You from up north. Got the edge of the Uh, Kentucky. But I'm ri originally from Jerusalem. Bring I just got right. dropped off here in America. Right, that's right. Knowledge that you give to your ancestors is true. The simple reason why I speak that, yo. My brother, man. Want to fly, brother? Want to fly? Oh, he's in. He's, 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 he's calling the Israelite faith. So that's. I've been running from it for three days. I just got paid. I did 24 years and six months. Mm. Three days I've been running. And he stopped in the middle of the road. And I want to say this here before. Uh, a brother here did? Uh, oh, your brother. Okay. They've been like that. Like y'all moved here. Zulu. Uh-huh. I got behind racetrack gas station, hit that, packed my shot pump, ran through his way, ran through his way. Come on the road, man. Come on the road. Come on the road, sis. Come on the road. Come on the road. Brought you in. All praise. Give me Isaiah 49, reverse. Look at this. Listen to this. This is what you see happening right now. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 5. And now saith the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob again to him. That's what we out here doing. It's our job since we came out the womb. We didn't know. This is what I was talking about earlier to the brother. We all as black men are searching for purpose here in the land of our captivity. The, our purpose is to, to go out and raise up the tribes of Jacob. That's right. what, what tribe was you from, brother? Benjamin or Judah? You was from Judah. Right. Where where you come from? Uh, America or the islands? Where are you from? Your your for, your father, your grandfather in there, man. Do you know? Okay. You forgot? Okay. Because I'm telling you they're coming from you. It brings life to you. That's what it does. John 663. How about you? Where where your your fathers come from? They from Americas or the islands, Haiti, Jamaica, where they come from? America. Okay. So it's our job. That's why we out here is to raise up the tribes of Judah because we're not African American. Right. Right. The blacks here in America, God calls them Judah in the Bible. Right. I have a quick testimony of yeah. concerning that. Um, about five or six years ago, um, around the time of the Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Bring my mark. Five, six years. Six years. Two hours later. I think everything out when they were saying it until I got a sign. With, with you, now, I remember when you came in uh, a few years ago, right? So so what happened? Are you still searching or what, what's going on? The, the thing with me is, I, I, I don't. I, 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 this is what God told me to do. You know, to put them all together, all us together. Well, uh, give me that in Isaiah. Give me that in Isaiah. About uh, us coming together, right? The churches. This is what he told me. So it's, it's Fifty. Not, uh, one place, I believe. Right here, uh, Isaiah fifty-two, and I'm gonna read something for you. Um, verse eight. Yes, sir. Isaiah chapter 52 verse 8 Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice With the voice together they shall sing For they shall see eye to eye When the Lord shall bring again Zion When? When the Lord shall bring again Zion So just to help you mold what you're talking about right We're not going to all come together Until the Lord gathers the 12 tribes once again right. so I, I i know you you try to do but that's a futile battle because god said that ain't gonna happen yet it, it won't happen without this right and, and, and that's the thing you know it won't happen without us right you're right and that and, and what our job is to do right now is to gather those that will hear now some might go there some might go here but that's why 
is Christ is the King of King, Lord of Lords. It's going to be his job to put all the differences that we got. He's going to hush all of that and gather us together. So until that happens, what you do is you rehearse the righteous acts. Right. One of those righteous acts. Give me uh, Exodus 20 and 8. One of those righteous acts. Yeah. It is in a, in a, in a sense. It's right. We coming together. But the ultimate gathering is going to be to Christ. That's what it says in the Bible. Right? Read the Exodus 20 and 8. Exodus chapter 20 verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So that one thing that we got to do is remember the Sabbath day. What's one way you keep the Sabbath day holy? No buy, no sell. You know? Here, here's one way. Um, give me that Hebrews 10. Here's the way that we keep it holy. Hebrews 10 and verse 25. Listen to this. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some is. So one way you keep the Sabbath day holy is you got to gather yourself together with other believers. That's a part in, of coming together. What you're talking about, you see it happening now? What we do is we go out and do our work because we are servants of the Lord. Our job is to uh, speak the words of God and compel his people to come in. Then we go and gather with other believers on this day, which is the Sabbath day, and we be refreshed in the spirit. We get around other spiritual brothers that encourage us to keep going on. Yes, Whatever right. we might have been through, like you, brother. You say you might you was in jail for 24 years. You need to be around some brothers that can build your spirit up, right. that can encourage you, give you understanding of why you went through what you went through and the path that you need to walk going ahead. Right. Right. Whether it be till Christ come back or whether he call us home being, being we put in the grave. But you need somebody to help you guide you on that on that road right, right whether it be somebody younger than you or, or older than you give me that in john three and three because when it comes to the word of god how old was jesus do y'all remember how old he was when he was no uh, well, that's when he first started he was 12 but when he like really went out there and started going against the pharisees he was 30 years old. That's right. He would be considered a young man to you. You're like, oh, what the hell is this young dude telling me? That's why the Pharisees, one of the reasons they battle him so much, right. they say, you ain't yet 50 years old. How are you Abraham? How you know Abraham? Right. Right. Like, you young dude can't tell me what to do, but this is what they did understand in the spirit. Read that, John 3 and 3. John chapter 3, verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again. Be what? Be born again. Uh -huh. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Now, when you are first born, you are considered a what in the earth? A baby. Christ, a 30-year-old man at the time, said, unless the man be born again, he can't see the kingdom of God. Right. Being, and when you're a baby, what is happening? You're being retaught everything. Right. You're being held, you're being taught everything for the first time. That's the same way we gotta come back to Christ and God. Gotta humble ourselves. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It is. All right, brother. Thank y'all, brother. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna right All right. All right. Okay. What you got? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. First Peter chapter one verse twenty-three. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible. How are we born again? Read that. By the word of God. By who? By the word of God. Now give me Hebrews 5 and 12. So the first step of being born again is by the word of God. Right. Here's the next step of it. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. Right. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God. So in, a, in the process of being reborn again, we have to be retaught again, no matter how old we are, because the reason God says to be taught again, Deuteronomy 28, 64 uh, again. This is why God says when you are, are on your step to being reborn again, you want to change your life. You've done bad in the past. I'm giving you a second chance. I ain't took your life yet. You're going to be born again. Do this because of this. Verse 64. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from the one end of the earth, even unto the other. We were scattered through the 1619 slave trade for us blacks. 1492, it happened to the Hispanics. We were scattered into different areas of the world. Read. And there thou shalt serve other gods. We served other gods. A lot of us came up thinking that was Jesus. Right. And with that thought of him being Jesus came a certain philosophy behind it that God loves you no matter what. Right. Hey, bro, you got a you got a second to listen to the word as you're going on? You got to say, take a fly there, man. Grab a fly where you can read it. So, so we was going into other places and we will learn about other gods and not the true God. So right. back to Hebrews 5 and 12. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 12. For when for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God. Because you would be scattered into different lands and you would serve other gods thinking you serving me through the philosophy of lies. The one of the philosophy is Jesus color don't matter. God loves you no matter what. Come as you are. That stuff ain't in the Bible. Right. At all. Uh huh. So now you spoke the word according to the word of God. Right. So that's confirmation. That's right. Hey, hey, give me that in Job. I'm going to show you something about Job 33 or 30 about speaking once, twice. Let me see that. Job 32, 33, I think it is. Yep. Job 33, and let's read verse 14. Listen to this, brother, what you're talking about, confirmation. That, that is God calling you in the spirit. Now, you've got to do it physically. He's knocking at the door of your spiritual mind. Like, hey, I'm trying to, to change your life. I'm trying to uh, seal your deal in the kingdom of heaven, right. but you gotta change. You gotta put forth some action right. for your name to be written on the VIP list of heaven. Right. Read that. Job chapter 33 verse 14. Yo. For God speak of once, yea, twice. How many times does God speak to us? Yea, twice. God might speak once to us and then take your life, or he might give you twice that second chance he was talking about earlier. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish this. Read it from the top again. For God speak of once, yea, twice, yet man perceive it not. We don't perceive it. Like right now, you know, you understand that this is God talking to you because the oar around here where two or three gathered, there he is in the midst. We're reading right out the word. Sometimes God will come up and speak to you. Uh, uh, you walking down the street, going by, and you'll hear the word coming out. Right. Right? You'll hear somebody saying, oh, somebody said, hey, you heard about them Israelite dudes? That's God planting the seed in your mind, right. speaking to you. Right? Read on. In a dream. Sometimes he'll speak in a dream to you. Read. In a vision. Uh -huh. In a vision of the night when deep sleep falleth upon men. When you have those dreams, like, oh, man, I can't understand. For some reason, um, the world was being destroyed and everything was on fire, but somehow I got lifted up over top of it and, and I survived it, and then I just woke up real quick. That's God talking to you in a dream, but we can't understand it. Read on. And slumberings upon the bed. Then he openeth the ears of men. He does what? Then he openeth the ears of men and seal of their instruction. That's what's happening to you right now. Yeah. Yeah. Boom, now you understand. Exactly right. The spirit moves you. That's why you're here right now. The spirit moved you to come over here. It wasn't for me, I mean, I didn't feel good about coming on the order of God. I wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. I don't been to the top, I don't been to the middle, to the bottom. Man, I love y'all coming out here. Man, being on the streets, you know, I'm so I love in my life. Uh. That's what I do. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's so good in my heart to know. Tell me, get it right now. Get it right. Get it right. You're right. That's God speaking to you. Uh huh. Uh huh. You from this area, right? 
Chicago. Oh, okay. I came down here in 1980. I came down here when I was seven. And I did what I do, I always made money because when I come from a good family, I got two brothers with me. That you said they, they do this right here. Uh-huh. That's the only we ain't even talking. The roof is He's doing this. Yeah. Has he told he's told you a, a little bit about this stuff before? Okay. But I like I get in there and I get teachers me. So 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 now what do you need to do though if you know because what, what's the old say if you know better that's right you do better. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.